across the street from City Hall to mobilize local support and appeal to State Commissioner of Education Mary Ellen Aaliyah to remove Mr. Palladino as a member of the Board of Education. And Dawn, why did you come out here to the rally to have Paladino removed? Um, I came out here because it's just necessary to stand up in the face of any oppression. And this, what he's doing and the words that he's speaking are hurtful and they're oppressive. I'm Walker. I'm the PTO president at Buffalo International School number 45. The day after Donald Trump was elected, I walked into my children's school. There were children who were genuinely in fear about the dialogue that is happening in this country. And I assured that those children were safe here. Don't worry, you're safe in this school. And then we have a board of education member yes, who is saying vile, inappropriate things about the President of the United States yes. and the First Lady who represents hope and opportunity to so many of our children of color. Like the Obama family, my family is interracial and intercultural. I believe in this city and the city of good neighbor. It is unacceptable under any circumstances to have elected officials speaking in this manner. And Lorna, why do you think it's so important to the community of Buffalo to have Carl Palladino removed from the school board? I think it would be important for any community to remove a person from the school board who uses such foul language in a public organ like the art books. I think it's just completely inappropriate. I love Mayor Brown. If Mayor Brown said, made similar remarks about uh, our upcoming president, I would demand his removal because it's not, that's not what our leadership is supposed to be about. Our leadership is supposed to respect the office. If you detest the man, you respect the office. And that's the way it's been since George Washington. Okay, so I don't see a need to change it up now. And I want to say that as an African-American woman, I am deeply offended, and I make no apologies for it. Whose children? Our children. Whose children? Our children. Whose children? Our children. Paladino, Zimbabwe called. <laughs> they said Michelle was welcome to come anytime. <laughs> Thanks for conveying the message. Yes. Africa is the birthplace of all humanity. All humanity. And if you are of its distant children, but a mother's love can be bold and cold, so you are not in the fold of her love. And Mimi, why was it so important for you to come here for this rally to have uh, Paladino ousted? First, Lorna is a longtime friend and her family and Rawa and those people. But mostly is because I can't, I'm 83, I can't believe what Paladino said. I'm, I'm not, it isn't just about our children, it's about the whole community. It's, it will, it's just, it's so distressing and so ignorant. And we have had the most wonderful president for eight years. And I send him emails all the time and tell him so. Sometimes he answers. But we are so lucky to have had him. And who is this nobody? We're just making fun of him in the most horrifying way. So the, the petition to Commissioner Aliyah? That, the, there are three online petitions. They have already garnered more than 30,000 signatures. That's significant. Can you explain the front and back of the signs? The front of the sign says that I am Michelle Obama with her picture, which is every person helping that sign is saying, you disrespect her, you disrespect me. You tread on her, you tread on me. The back of the sign is a famous quote from Sojourner Truth, okay, where she stated, Ain't I a woman? All right, in an address before a group of um, white female a abolitionists, is my memory of it. And she talked about how what she had read or heard that the way that women were supposed to be treated. And she remarked, she doesn't receive any of that treatment. Ain't I a woman? Have we ever said any such thing like this about any former first lady? Ever? Never. It's never, never happened. I'm 65 years old. I, I was here when they made up the word history. 
We have never spoken like this of POTUS and FLOTUS. That's right. Yeah. Think it's Buffalo, Go Buffalo. Buffalo. That's true. I'm 83. <laughs> I have never, ever heard anything like this about any other first lady. It's disgusting. It is.